Yep, it's that time of the year to do the Blu-ray collection video for 2019. Yes, guys, it's once again, it's a few weeks late this time, but every year I do a Blu-ray collection video, and these are always so much fun to do in the moment, and then it sucks to go sit down and just pretty much edit for the next hour, making sure all the sound works, and it's just so great. And so I got my water, I got all my Blu-rays, I'm going to get through all this like I did last year. It is in alphabetic order. Last year I, I noticed I messed up in some words, so I figured out everything. I got everything in alphabetic order. I had to get all my movies back from people who borrowed anything or like that. So I think I got everything. Before we start, I do want to answer just a few questions from last year's questions on the Blu-ray. Uh, you can leave kind of questions here. I'll probably answer it next year when I do the next one. The most common question I got is... Where are my uh, slip covers? Where did I get these uh, bookcases? Where did I get all these kind of things? First things first, slip covers, all of them have been taken off and put in my closet because space and it like makes chunks and I don't like it, so I had to take them off to make space. Second big question is where did I get this uh, actual case? This is an actual Blu ray case. I ordered this one off a Best Buy website a few years back. The one over there is actually taller and it's actually way more room. That one I got on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. It's just literally you look up Blu-ray Blu -ray suit uh, cases or whatever and this is what you get. So I got these and I'm already running out of space so I might buy a third one soon which I have a tiny room so I don't know what's going to happen. But either way, those are the most common questions about them, slip covers and the bookcases. So once again, they're not big order. I add some Blu-rays. It's going to be a lot of Blu-rays. I actually think I have the exact number. I think I have 900 Blu-rays. Okay, guys, like I said, I got my Fiji water because I'm cool, and so now it's time to start it in alphabetic order. Let's do it. Let's start the Blu-ray collection for 2019. Now let's get started. First things first, 10 Cloverfield Lane, 10 Things I Hate About You, 12 Strong, a pretty decent war film if you ask me, 12 Years a Slave, 13 Hours, a very surprising war film, very. Uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street, I really wish we'd get a 23 or maybe just something, you know. The 40-Year-Old Virgin, love it. 42, The Jackie Robinson Story, Black Panther before he became Black Panther. 127 Hours, can't watch the scene with his arm because I don't like Vane, so screw that scene. 500 Days of Summer. 2001 A Space Odyssey, you gotta own it if you are a movie buff. The Accountant, I hope we get a sequel. The Adjustment Bureau, 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 oh this one's stuck. Ugh. Adrift, it's there because you know you gotta have dates and you gotta have those romance movies so when the guy that owns all the movies you gotta be like hey I got a romance movie, let's watch one. But the thing is no girls come over so moving on. Adventureland, The Adventures of Tintin, AI Artificial Intelligence, the original Aladdin, and I will buy the new one when it comes out, the original Alice in Wonderland, the new Alice in Wonderland, which I know it's pretty bad, but it's okay. Moving on. Alien, Aliens, and then Alien Covenant, which I've actually grown to not like as much when I first saw it. Alien vs. Predator, the first one. My new recent bought, I just bought Alita on Blu-ray, which is a pretty enjoyable movie, you ask me. All the Money in the World. Very underrated. American Honey. If you've never seen this movie, it's very long, but it's very good. American Hustle. American Made. The American Pie Collection, because I love all those movies, even the fourth one. American Sniper. American Psycho. A lot of Americans. Um, The Amazing Spider-Man, and then The Amazing Spider-Man 2, both movies, super just fun to look at, but all pretty bad movies if you ask me. Annabelle, Annabelle Creation, and I will get the third one, Anchorman, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Annihilation on 4K, very, very awesome movie. Apocalypse Now, Apollo 13, Aquaman, yeah, Arachophobia, 
Argo, the best picture winner, you know, so great. Um, Armageddon, super sad, ending is depressing. Arrival, Assassination Nation, very good movie at the end. Um, Atlantis won, but it does have the second one, but I really bought it because of the first one. Atomic Blonde. The Austin Power Trilogy. Oh, yeah, by me. Please give me a fourth one. If you make a fourth one, make it good, please, because I really, I really want a fourth one. The second highest grossing film of all time, Avatar. Good job, Endgame. The Avatar Complete Series, the original. Um, I bought this very cheap. And I'm really proud of it because I know it's like 60 something or $50 now. Um, this show is amazing. If you've never seen it, kids show that's also grown-ups and every person in the world can love. And screw the movie. Uh, the Avengers. The Avengers Age of Ultron. Infinity War. I don't know why I don't call it Avengers. I just call it Infinity War because I think I'm so used to saying Infinity War and then Endgame. Obviously, I will buy Endgame when it comes out in like a month or so. The Aviator. Away We Go, Baby Driver, Back to the Future Trilogy, Bad Boys, Bad Boys 2, Bad Santa, Bad Santa 2. These are just movies that are just enjoyable that my mom and dad like a lot. Bad Times at El Royale, very good movie and very underrated. I met the lady. I met that lady right there. She's, got, she's having a great career, but I met her. Before she got all super duper famous. Bambi, super duper sad. The original Batman movies, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman Robin. Batman Begins, a steelbook, which I don't actually really like. The Dark Knight, obviously a classic. The Dark Knight Rises. Batman vs. Superman, yeah, I know. Hate me now, but hate me for this even more. Baywatch, yeah, I own Baywatch. Because of The Rock. He's The Rock, that's why. The original Beauty and the Beast, the live-action Beauty and the Beast, which I like, and apparently some people just really hate. Um, Beer Fest, just a dumb movie. Beetlejuice, the BFG, the big fucking giant. Oops, sorry, I mean big freaking giant. Big classic. Big Hero Six, my favorite comedy of all time. The Big Lebowski. Uh, yeah, man. Uh. I don't know, man. It's just your opinion, man. The Big Short. The Big Sick. Big Trouble in Little China. Billy Madison. Birdman. Bridges of Spies. Black Klansman. Great movie. Black Mass, which I didn't even want on Blu-ray. I got it on DVD, and then my grandma traded it in for Blu-ray, so I was like, alright, I'll take it. Black Panther. Black Swan, Blade Runner, my favorite steel book out of my whole collection. This is Psycho Steel Book, Blade Runner 2049. I love that steel book. It is literally like gorgeous to look at. Blind Spotting, Blockers, Blood Diamond, one of Leo's best performances. Don't even get me started. He was great in that movie. He was. I'm so glad he was nominated for that movie. Uh, Below with Johnny Depp. Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, even though a lot of people think I hate that movie, I'm just saying, it, it's just, compared to, like, Rocket Man, like, that's nothing, I'm sorry. One of my favorite movies of all time, Boogie Nights, really, like, this is probably my favorite directed film of all time, I don't know. Boogie Nights is definitely up there with, like, top three. Bolt. All of the Jason Bourne movies, uh, Bourne Identity, Bourne Supremacy, Bourne Ultimatum, Yes, I even have both Bourne Legacy of Kim and Title. And Jason Bourne, which I have come to consideration now. It is not as good as I first saw in theaters. I got too hyped. Gave it a great review. It's, it's fine. Boys in the Hood. Rest in peace to the director. Brad Status. Very underrated movie. Braveheart. Very underrated movie that I did not see in theaters. Brawl and Sublocks 99. It is a... Like, Vince Vaughn is not Vince Vaughn. This is, like, it, it, it's crazy how much that's not Vince Vaughn. Um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, classic. The Breakfast Club, amazing. A show I literally just rewatched again for the third time. The Breaking Bad Complete Series. This show, guys, like, 
I, I can't even tell you how great of a show that is. Like, it's just, if you haven't seen it, what is wrong with you? Bridesmaids. Tom Hardy's one of his best performances. Bronson. Brother Bear 1. It does have the second one. Yeah, it does. But again, I only bought it because I wanted the first one, but it came with the second one. Bumblebee with my future wife, Haley Steinfeld. A Bug's Life. The Burbs. Cabin in the Woods. Caddyshack. I love Caddyshack. Call Me By Your Name. A movie that everyone thinks I hate. My review, everyone just thought I hate that movie. No, I like the movie. Captain America the First Avenger, The Winter Soldier, and Captain America Civil War. One of the best Marvel trilogies we've had in a while. Captain Marvel, some of you hate that movie, don't know why. Captain Phillips. Get off the Blu-ray. Carrie. Casino. Casino Royale, which I hate this cover. I wish I had, like, a way better cover than that one. Castaway. Catch Me If You Can, Cat's Eye, Central Intelligence, Chicken Run, Chicken, oh wait, chi wait, 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 Chicken Little, then Chicken Run. I'm pretty sure that I, yeah, I, get, I don't know why, but I just got them mixed up. Uh, Chinatown, the Steel Book, which I really do enjoy. Christine, not my favorite Stephen King movie, but it is what it is. A Christmas Carol, the Disney version of Jim Carrey. A Christmas Story. Christmas Vacation, my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Like, this and Elf, like, are my great, but this, like, we watch that every Christmas Eve because that's, like, our family tradition. Christopher Robin. Chronicle. The Chronicles of Narnia, the very first one, the only one I only care to own. The live-action Cinderella, I need to own the classic one. I just haven't gotten around to getting it yet. Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. Dumb movies, but enjoyable, but I never literally care to watch them again. A Clockwork Orange, very disturbing movie. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Cloverfield. Coco, the Steelbook, which this is a great steelbook and a very underrated movie that people will just need to see more of. Cold Pursuit, a movie that came out earlier this year. Collateral, Tom Cruise. The Color Purple. The movie that literally changed horror for today, The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2, which I like The Conjuring 2, The Conjuring 1's better. Con Air. Love me some Con Air. Coraline, disturbing. Corpse Bride. The Crazies, the remake with Timothy Oliphant. Crazy Rich Asians, which I did see. I just didn't review. Sorry. Crazy Stupid Love. Creed. Creed 2, a very surprising and very good sequel. Creep Show. Creep Show 2. Creep Show 1 is way better than Creep Show 2. The Crow. Cujo. Give me a remake of Cujo. I think a remake could really work for that movie. Curious the case of Benjamin Button. Curious George. I saw the movie theaters with my mom, okay? I had to get it. I was like $5. I was like, I have to get this. Daddy's Home and then Daddy's Home 2. Dances with Wolves. The Dark Crystal and the new show that's coming out on Netflix. Give it to me now because they're using real puppets, not some dumb CGI. It's going to be puppets. Can't wait. Darkest Hour. Dawn of the Dead, the remake, 2004. Day After Tomorrow, super, super enjoyable film. That is very dumb. Daybreakers, underrated vampire movie. Dazed and Confused, all right, all right. Deadpool and Deadpool 2, which I have grown to really like a lot. Not as much as the first one, but Deadpool 2 is starting to become like a just a very just fun movie to watch, especially on TV. Deepwater Horizon. Deliverance. Ooh, that movie's disturbing. Squeal, boy, squeal! Ugh, I don't even like thinking about it. The Departed. Departed. Go get in the car. Detroit. Devil. Diary of the Dead. I definitely don't need to own that. I watched that. I was like, I thought it was going to be really good, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Ugh. 
Die Hard. Live free or Die Hard. I want to get Die Hard with a Vengeance. Don't yell at me. I want like Die Hard too. Sorry. Dinosaur. Dirty Dancing. The Disaster Artist. District 9. Django Unchained. I just saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood last night. Doctor Strange. Don John. Donnie Darko. Very disturbing movie. Yes, movie. Don't Breathe. Dope. Downsizing. Definitely a movie I don't ever care to watch again, but my mom wanted to see it, so I got it for her. 4K version of Dread. Definitely the worth of 4K. Definitely worth that movie. Drive. Dreamcatcher. Dude, where's my car? When I saw this at a pawn shop, I was like, dude. Give me that movie. Due Date. Spielberg's first movie, Duel. Dumb and Dumber. Dumbo, the original. And then obviously the remake, Dumbo. 4K version of Dunker, because definitely worth the 4K uh, purchase. Easy A. The Edge of Darkness. Edge 17. I love this movie. I actually did an essay on a college paper, and I got an A-plus because of this movie, so that movie actually means a lot more to me than it needed to be, but I love that movie. Edward Scissorhands. Ed Wood, classic. Eighth Grade, a movie I really wish I got to review, but I just didn't get to see in theaters. Elf, like I said, one of my favorite Christmas movies. Empire of the Sun. Not my favorite Spielberg. Good movie, but not my personal favorite. The Emperor's New Groove and Croc's New Groove. Again, just wanted the first one. Sequel came with it. I was like, all right, I'll just get it. Enchanted. The Equalizer on 4K because it was cheap. Equalizer 2. Aaron Brockovich. Very surprisingly enjoyable film, but Escape Room, which I actually enjoyed. I hope the sequel is good. E.T., obviously E.T. The Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and the remake of The Evil Dead. All movies I like, even the remake. Every Which Way Blues, Any Which Way You Can. Ex Machina, or Ex Machina, whatever you want to say. The Exorcist. The Expendables. The Expendables 2. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and then of course, Fantastic Beasts 2, The Crimes of Grindelwald, which... Very boring. <laughs> Fantastic Mr. Fox. The Fast and the Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, which sucks. Fast and Furious. Fast Five, the best one. Fast and Furious 6. Furious 7. And finally, The Fate of the Furious. Can't wait for Hobbs and Shaw. So excited for that. Fargo. Fargo Season 1. The show, I think, is better than the movie. It's my honest opinion. Fargo Season 2. I haven't bought Season 3 yet, because I haven't seen it on Blu-ray. I have to, like, order it, but I will probably get it. The Favorite, or The Favorite, or however you want to say it. Fear. Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. Ferris is Bueller Day Off. Bueller. The 4K version of Field of Dreams. Fantastic movie. The Fifth Element, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed. And don't worry, they are my mom's movies. They are Blu-ray movies, so I had to put them in my collection because I'm OCD and I had to have Blu-rays in my collection in alphabetic order. The Fighter, Fighting with My Family, a very good movie that came out earlier this year. That's very just go see. If you haven't seen Fighting with My Family, please watch that movie. Fight Club. Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, the 4K version of First Man, Fistful of Dollars, and a few dollars more. I've only seen these movies once in my life. And then The Good, Bad, and the Ugly, Five Feet Apart. Again, if you need a girl, you gotta have these romance movies to have them with you because girls. Um, the Five Year Engagement, Flight. The live-action Flintstones, because I grew up with that movie. Flushed Away. The Fly. 
Forrest Gump. Cause my name's Forrest Gump. The Founder. Free Fire. Friday. Friends with Benefits. Fright Night, the li the remake, I almost said live action. The remake is actually a lot better than people tell it is. From Dusk Till Dawn. Frozen. Fruitville Station. The Fugitive. Full Metal Jacket. Funny People. Fury. Game Night. Alright. Game of Thrones Season 1, yes, I I know, Game of Thrones Season 2, oh goodness, I'm trying to make sure they're all in order, Game of Thrones Season 3, Game of Thrones Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, and then obviously, oh, where's the cover? Oh, season seven. It's very black. You just can't really see it. But season seven, I will get season eight, even though obviously everyone in the world, including me, were very disappointed and slash hated the series finale. Gangs of New York. Get Out. The Greatest Showman. Music was enjoyable. Movie is not the greatest. I know I didn't review and everyone hated me for that, but it's okay. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. The Lady Version of Ghostbusters, The Gift, Gifted, Girl Strip, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, not the uh, the original Swedish version, it's the live action, or the, the American one, The Girl in the Spider's Web, Gladiator, and I'm interested about that sequel they're doing with Gladiator, very interested about that, uh, Glass, the Godfather Trilogy. Godzilla from 1998. Uh, I liked it because of the steel book. That's the reason why I got it. The 2014 version Godzilla. Get off. The Goonies. Gone Baby Gone. Gone Girl. Gone with the Wind. Goodfellas. And Good Morning Vietnam. Goodwill Hunting, Goosebumps, very underrated uh, kids movie, and then Goosebumps 2. We don't talk about Goosebumps 2. The Grand Budapest Hotel, Grand Torino, Gravity, The Great Gatsby, a movie I really like and I actually had to watch in class and do a paper on, Green Book, the Best Picture winner, The Green Mile. Green Room, Green Zone, Gremlins, I love Gremlins, and then Gremlins 2. Greta, a fine little thriller movie. The Grinch, the kids one. Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Hacksaw Ridge, Hail Caesar. The original Halloween, and then the sequel slash newer one, but the 4K Halloween, which I really liked. I'm very excited for Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, in my opinion. And then Halloween 2. The Hangover 1 and 2, and then The Hangover Part 3. Come on, guys. Take an interest in science. The Happening. Classic movie, if you ask me. Happy Death Day. Happy Death Day to you. Not as good as the first one. Uh, Happy Time Murders, a really dumb movie. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Devil's Part 1. And then Part 2. All Harry Potter movies are A's to A-pluses, if you ask me. The Hateful Eight, one of my favorite Tarantino movies. The Hate You Give, love that movie. Love it. Heat. The Heat. Heavyweights. Love Heavyweights. Classic. The Ron Perlman Hellboy. I don't own Hellboy 2, but I recently just got the, the newer version, Hellboy, the remake with David Harbour. Hell or High Water. The Help. Hereditary. 
hidden figures. My very first 4K, so the reason why I got this movie on 4K is because we just wanted to buy it because we bought a new 4K player. The Hitman's Bodyguard, which is actually a fine movie. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug. And then The Hobbit, Battle of the Five Armies. Holmes and Watson. Yeah. I don't know why. Home Alone. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Hook. I hate, I hate Peter Pan. The House with the Clock and Swallow, a very surprisingly enjoyable movie. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the movie I grew up with, which I actually really enjoy. How to Train Your Dragon, the Steelbook, which I really love. And then How to Train Your Dragon 2, the Steelbook. And then obviously I had to get the third one with the Steelbook. Great trilogy, very underrated. Hugo, very overrated movie, if you ask me, just saying. Hulk, movie definitely not overrated, movie sucks. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay Part 1, and then Mockingjay Part 2. Hurricane Heist on 4K, because we all knew this in our life. Hell yeah. The Hurt Locker, I Am Legend, I Can Only Imagine, very good Christian movie, you ask me, Identity Thief. The Ides of March. I love you, man. I love you too, people. In Bruges. Inception. Classic. The Incredibles. Ugh. Got stuck. And The Incredibles 2, which I freaking loved. I think I like more than the first one. I know, that's shocking. The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. Independence Day. The Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> Ooh, it just fell out of its case. Ah, Indian Jones and the co complete collection of all four movies, including obviously Crystal Skull, which, yeah. But if we get a fifth one, please. It just fell out of the case again. Inglorious Bastards. Inside Out. Insidious. Insidious Chapter 2. I do not own Chapter 3 or 4 because they suck. Insomnia. Instant Family, a good comedy for families. One of my favorite movies of all time, Interstellar. Love it. The Interview. Interview with a Vampire, classic Tom Cruise movie. And Into the Woods. I, Robot, movie I grew up watching. The Iron Giant, also another movie I grew up watching. Iron Man, movie I definitely grew up watching. <laughs> Iron Man 2. Iron Man 3. Get off. The Island. Uh, The Isle of Dogs. Movie I haven't watched on Blu-ray, actually. I only watched it in theaters at one time. The miniseries of It. The 4K version of the newer It. Can't wait for Chapter 2. It Comes at Night. It Follows. One of my favorite still books. I... It is the perfect rainy day movie, I swear to you. Please watch it when you're home alone on a rainy day. Watch It Follows. It is the perfect movie for that feeling. I, Tanya. Jack Reacher. Jackie Brown. James and Giant Peach. This is John Flickinger's Blu-ray. I still have it. Um, He gave it to me. So, thank you, John. Still have it. It's part of my collection. Jaws. Love, love Jaws. J. Edgar, Jeepers Creepers 1, and Jeepers Creepers 2. I know what the director did. I know about these. what he did. Those two movies, I enjoy. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. The Jerk, Jerry Maguire, Jingle All the Way, John Wick, and then John Wick 2, and then Chapter 3 comes out. I will get that on Blu-ray as well. The Original Jumanji. Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle on 4K. Very excited for the third one or sequel, however you want to call it, but very excited for that movie. The Jungle Book, the live action one. Jurassic Park, my all time favorite. Love it. Watch it at least every once a month or twice a, or twice a month. Uh, Jurassic World 2, or The Lost World Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park 3. Yep. <laughs> Jurassic World, I like that movie. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. 
I have a love-hate relationship with this movie. I still like the first half of the movie, though. The 4K of the Justice League, which sucked. Just saying. Keanu. Keeping Up with the Joneses. Do not need to own that movie at all. That's probably mom. My mom probably bought that movie. Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass 2. I want a Kick-Ass 3 or a Hit-Girl movie, please. Kill Bill Volume 1 and Kill Bill Volume 2. The 1930s version of King Kong. I love classic art like that, so I had to get it, and I actually enjoyed the first one. And this is weird, but I own two copies of King Kong. I have the Steelbook, this version, but then they saw a new, a new Steelbook came out of the Peter Jackson one. This thing is beautiful. I love the Kong and the light and her right there. I just, I love that art, so I, I had to get it, but I already own it twice. So, hey, if you want Kong Skull Island... King's been the Secret Service. King's been the Golden Service. Yeah. Circle. Golden Circle. The King's Speech. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Love that movie. Krampus. Kubo and Two Strings. L.A. Confidential. Lady Bird. La La Land. The semi best picture for literally like 20 seconds. The Last Action Hero. Uh, League of Their Own. No crying in baseball. Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gawu. A very underrated movie. Uh, it's also a Zack Snyder movie, so that's kind of shocking that, you know, never got a sequel, which sucks. Legend of the Tarzan. The Lego Movie. Lego Movie 2. Batman Lego Movie. And then, yeah, Lego Ninjago Movie, which I have only watched once. Les Miserables, blah, 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 Let Me In, All Lethal Weapons, all four of them, Life with Eddie Murphy, Life with Ryan Reynolds, Life of Pi, Life of the Party, and then Lights Out, Lilo and Stitch, Limitless, Lincoln, The Lion King, the original one. The 4K version of Little Mermaid. Don't really know why I love 4K, but I really like it. The Little Rascals. Little Miss Sunshine. Live to repeat, but it's Edge of Tomorrow to me. Logan Luggy on 4K. Lone Survivor. Looper. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Lost Boys. Love Simon. I love this movie. Love that movie. Mamma Mia. Yeah. Mamma Mia. Here we go again. The Man from Uncle. Man on Fire. Man of Steel. Manchester by the Sea. Very sad movie. The Magnificent Seven. Very enjoyable. Marley and Me. And I don't know why I bought this, because I don't want to watch it. Because it's sad. I don't want to cry. The Martian. Mary Poppins, the original. And then, obviously, the Mary Poppins Returns, which I enjoyed. Matilda grew up on that movie. The Matrix. Maleficent, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely don't want to see the sequel. Mad Max. The Road Warrior. Mad Max Fury Road. I don't have the third Mad Max like original one. I want to get it, but I just haven't seen it on Blu-ray in a while. The Maid Maze Runner Trilogy. Very underrated trilogy. I really like those movies. Mean Girls. Me Before You. Meet the Parents. Meet the Fockers. I do not have Little Fockers, because nope. The Meg. Memento. Men in Black. Men in Black 2, Mid-90s, Midnight Special, Midnight Run, Mile 22, definitely didn't need to buy that, but, you know, Millions Way to Die in the West, Minority Report, Misery, Missing Link, just bought this, like, literally this week, I'm pretty sure, uh, Mission Impossible 1, Mission Impossible 2, Mission Impossible 3, Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, 
and then the 4K version of Mission Impossible Fallout. Moana, which has become either my favorite or my second favorite Pixar movie of all time. I know Toy Story is obviously like that, but Moana, I mean, Moana is just amazing. I don't know a single person that hates Moana, to be honest. Molly's Game, Moneyball, All Monster Calls, Monsters, Inc., Sully, Kitty. Why did I say Sully? I'm terrible. I hate myself. It's Kitty. Kitty. Monster University. Moon. Moonlight. Uh, what? <laughs> Mother. I almost said Misery again. Mother. The Mountain Between Us. Mrs. Doubtfire. Love it. Mud. Get off. The Mule. The 1937 or 38? I don't know. The original Mummy, the black and white one. The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. The Mummy Returns. And yes, The Mummy Rise of the Tomb, whatever. The Mummy with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Bought some movies this year. The Muppets. Murder on the Orient Express, which I am kind of interested in with that sequel they're doing. My Cousin Vinny. Neighbors. Neighbors 2. The Never Ending Story. Seen Stranger Things 3, then you know what I'm talking about. But Never Ending Story. The Nice Guys. Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum, Battle in the Smithsonian. I can't say museum right. Night at the Museum. 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 I can't say it right. Night of the Living Dead, the original classic one. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightcrawler. Robbery! Robbery of Jake Gyllenhaal. Just saying. Nightmare on Elm Street Collection. The remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. Noah. No Country for Old Men. Nocturnal Animals. Very disturbing movie. No Strings Attached. Yeah. The Notebook. Now You See Me. The Nun. Fuck this movie. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Twelve. Ocean's Thirteen. And then Ocean's Eight, which is actually not that bad if you ask me. Oculus. Old School. You're my boy, Blue! Oliver and Company. One Flew the Cuckoo's Nest. Classic. Over the Hedge. Over the top. Thank you, John Flickinger. This is that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Overboard. And the 4K version of Overlord, which is a very, very good movie. Pacific Rim, an awesome movie that I was super excited for for a sequel. And then we got the sequel. Fuck this movie. Pain and Gain. Get off it. Ugh. Paper Towns. Passengers, Patriot's Day, The Patriot, Paul, <laughs> I love Paul, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, <laughs> Peppermint, Perks Being a Wallflower, Peter Pan, the original classic, and then the sequel, Return to Neverland, Pete's Dragon, Pete's Dragon the Remake, Pet Cemetery, the remake of Pet Cemetery, Phantom Thread, Philomena, 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 my grandma loves that movie, shut up, Pineapple Express, Pinocchio, Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Too Long, Pirates of the Caribbean, All Stranger Tides, and Pirates of Caribbean, Dead Men, Tell No Tell. I hate that movie. The Place Beyond the Pines. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, my favorite, and I think only Thanksgiving movie I can think of, but that's my favorite Thanksgiving movie. Platoon. Point Break. I am an FBI agent. Yeah. Love Keanu Reeves. Uh, Pop Star. The Polar Express. The Original Poltergeist. Love that movie. It's directed by Steven Spielberg. I know Tom Hooper directed it. Spielberg directed it. Just saying. The Post. 
Spielberg movie. Power Rangers, the, the newer one. Prometheus. The original Predator. The 2018 Predator. Or no, wait, no, there's 2010 Predator. Now the 2018 Predator. Fuck this movie. My dad wanted to own it, so yeah. Pre Prestige, almost with Prisoners, because Prisoners is next. Leon the Professional. The Proposal. Psycho. I love Psycho. Love it. Public Enemies. Pulp Fiction. A Quiet Place Steelbook. Uh, Rain Man. Ten Minutes to Watner. Raising Arizona. Rampage. 4K Steelbook. Did not need to pay that money, but I did. Rango. Ratatouille. Ray. Ooh, 4K version of Ray Player One. Very good movie on 4K. Doesn't hold up on rewatchability, I will admit. Red. Red Dragon. Goodness gracious. Rescuers and uh, the Rescuers Down Under. Love these movies. I wanted to get them. Reservoir Dogs. Resident Evil. It's, it's dumb entertaining, just like this one. The second one, Apocalypse. And the third one, Extinction. And then we get to Badness. Just Afterlife. Retribution. And this one just ruined everything, the final chapter. So let's get a reboot going, Sony or someone, whoever does it. Just someone, please. The Return of the Living Dead. Classic comedy. And then we got part two. Part two is, yeah. <laughs> part two is something. A movie everyone thinks I love, but I definitely hate. But it's so great. And I definitely recommend everyone to see it. Replicas. You get to see a Keanu Reeves as a robot. Come on. That's enough for my tickets worth. The Revenant, Revenge, Revolutionary Road, Roadhouse, Robin Hood, my mom wanted to see it, shut up, Rocky, role models, I don't know if I'm stuck doing Rocky now, but role models, Room, The Room, and Rough Night. One of the smartest shows on television, but one of the best comedies I've seen in a long time. Rick and Morty, season one, yeah. Super great. <laughs> season two, and obviously Pickle Rick, season three. Very excited for season four. I'm just so freaking glad it's finally coming out, because, you know, we, we have to wait like three years for every season. The Ring, scared me as a child, scarred me as a child. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. War for the Planet of the Apes. All the original Planet of the Apes, which this is, case is a little broken, I can hear it inside, or no it isn't, I don't know. The original Planet of the Apes, all of them. Risky Business. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's a Christmas Day movie, that's a movie we play in the background on Christmas Day. The Rundown. The Rush Hour Trilogy. Safe House. Salem's Lot. The Sand Lot. San Andreas, dumb movie, did not need to own it. Sausage Party, very just ugh. Savages, Saving Private Ryan, The Complete Saw Collection, one through seven, and then Jigsaw, Scarface, Schindler's List, Scooby Doo, yeah, Scream, Scream Two, Scream Three, and Scriforum, but Scream Four. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, awesome movie. Go see if you haven't seen it. Searching. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Serenity. It was so bad, I had to have my mom and dad watch this movie, but it right now, it's my worst movie of the year so far, hands down. A Serious Man. Seven. Seven Psychopaths. The Shallows. Shameless Season 1. Season 2, Season 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I haven't bought 9 yet, but I've actually put in my Amazon cart, so I will have it soon. I just haven't purchased it yet, pretty much. 4K Shape of Water, I love that movie. 
Shark Tale, Shawshank Redemption, Shazam. I liked it more the second time I watched it. First time I wasn't a big fan, second time I liked it more. And the classic The Shining, can't wait for Dr. Sleep. Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock's Home 2, I hope we get a third one one day. Shrek, all four movies, very interested on that remake slash fifth one they're doing. Shutter Island. The Cornetto Trilogy of Shaun of the Dead, uh, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. Sicario. Sicario, Day of Soldado. Signs. Silence. Silence of the Lambs. Silver Lines Playbook. A Simple Favor. Sin City 1 and 2. Get off the thing. Sinister. Sixteen Candles, The Sixth Sense, Skyscraper, Skyfall, hate that cover as well, Sleepless, Sleepwalkers, yeah, watch Sleepwalkers, Sleepy Hollow, Slenderman, S uh, Sling Blade, almost said Slenderman again, uh, Smoking the Bandit, Snow Piercer, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the original classic one, Snow White, the live action one with Snow White and the Huntsman, the sequel, The Huntsman and the Winter Rider. I just didn't, I don't really care with movies, so I don't really remember the titles that much. Uh, Social Network, you can't really see it, but that is Social Network. Soprano, season one, two, three, four, five, six part one, six part two and then some type of bonus sticks but yeah the Sopranos series pretty much my mom made me buy them because they're like if you watch Breaking Bad I was like you've watched Breaking Bad I watched Sopranos I watched Sopranos pretty good <laughs> Southpaw uh Sorry to Bother You very weird movie very Source Code on 4k Spaceballs get off the thing Space Jam sequel's gonna be interesting the Spectacular Now, Spectre, Speed, the original Spider-Man trilogy, the ones I grew up on with Tobey Maguire, I love those movies. Second one's my favorite superhero movie of all time, one of the, and then Spider-Man 3's, Spider-Man 3 is Spider-Man 3. The 4K version of Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse, my second favorite Spider-Man movie, it is amazing. And then Spider-Man Homecoming. Split, Spongebob Squarepants, the movie, the sequel, Spotlight, Spring Breakers, Spy, The Spy Who Dumped Me, Stand By Me, the 4K version of Star is Born, my favorite movie of last year, still love that movie, Star Trek, the newer one, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond, Solo, Rogue One, the complete Star Wars collection, the prequels, and then uh, the newer, uh, the old ones. Star Wars: The Force Awakens, and the 4K Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Straight Outta Compton, Step Brothers, Stir Crazy, The Strangers, a movie that I really like, Strangers Pray at Night. I know a lot of people hate the movie. I, I like it. Stronger. Stuart Little, written by M. Night Shyamalan, Suicide Squad, Super 8, Super Troopers, and Super Troopers Part 2. Super Bad, Sweeney Todd, God darn, I just broke Sweeney Todd, uh, Swiss Army Man, Swordfish, Tag, Taken, Talon Hands Record Bobby, Love this movie. Baby Jesus. Lord Baby Jesus. Tangled. Tarzan. Taxi Driver. Ted 1 and 2. Teen Wolf. The Terminal. The Terminator. T2. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original trilogy. The first one is the real reason why I bought that. Uh, the newer one, just the first one, because the second one sucked. The original steelbook of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's something about Mary. 
There Will Be Blood, The Thing, This Is The End, Thor, Thor The Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, A Time to Kill, Titanic, Tomb Raider, not a bad movie, just not great, Tombstone, Tommy Boy, rest in peace, Chris Farley, man, you were, you are the best. That movie, Black Sheep, is great. Top Gun, very excited for the sequel. Tower Heist, I know, Brett Ratner, but movies enjoyable. The Town, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, and Toy Story 3. I will get Toy Story 4 when it comes out in a few months after being in theaters. Training Day, Train Wreck, Transformers. Transformers 2, Transformers 3, and Transformers 4. I do not own 5 because I really didn't care to buy it. I really did not care. Treasure Planet, Trick or Treat, Tropic Thunder, True Detective Season 1, and True Detective Season 2. I haven't bought Season 3 yet just because I haven't done it yet, but Season 3 is a lot better than Season 2. True Grit, True Romance, Tully, Twister, Unbreakable, Uncle Drew, very good, just dumb movie, Under the Skin, The Underworld Collection, good thing, Unforgiven, Unfriended, The Dark Web, only the sequel, only the first one, The Untouchables, Up, Upgrade, the Upside, Us Steelbook, love the Steelbook, love the gold and everything, I love it. But Us, Vacation, 4K Van Helsing, Venom, Vice, The Visit, Vox Lux, that opening scene, man, oh my god. The Walking Dead Season 1, Season 2. Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, Season 7, and then Season 8, which they actually made a really cool Steelbook out of Season 8, so I had to get Season 8 So on Steelbook. I usually don't do that, but I had to for that one. I will get Season 9 when it comes out in August, and the show is definitely... There's a reason why I don't review it anymore. <laughs> the Walk, Walk the Line, Wally. War of the Worlds, Tom Cruise. 4K of Warrior, love that movie. Watchmen. Waterboy. War Horse. Or, not War Horse. The Water Horse. Yes, <laughs> don't know why I said that. Uh, the Way Way Back. Wedding Crashers. Weird Science. White Boy Rick. Where the Wild Things Are. Whiplash. Where's Roger Rabbit? Who frame? Wow. Who frame Roger Rabbit? I cannot talk anymore after an hour of talking. Widows. Wild. Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. Wind River. The Witch. The original Wolfman. Leo's best performance, The Wolf of Wall Street. The Woman in Black. The Wizard of Oz, Oz and the Powerful. Great and Powerful. The Wizard of Oz. Wonder. Wonderland. The rip-off version of Boogie Nights. Wonder Woman. World War Z. Wreck-It Ralph. 4K version of Wreck-It Ralph 2 breaks the internet. Wrong Turn. Wrong Turn 2. I don't know why I own that one. I don't know why. X-Men, X2, X-United, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Origins Wolverine, First Class, The Wolverine, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, and then I will get, obviously, um, Dark Phoenix that comes out, and then Logan, the best one. Yes Man, Young Frankenstein, Zack and Miri make a porno. Zathora. 
Zero Dark Thirty, Zombieland, can't wait for the sequel, Zootopia, and finally, Zodiac. That is all my Blu-rays. And then I want to add these two because they just cannot fit in my shelf, but I also own Stranger Things 1 on Blu-ray and Stranger Things 2. They're just VHS-like, so they can't really fit up there. Uh, so that is it, guys. That is the end of my uh, Blu-ray collection video for 2019. These are always fun to do. Next year, I'm going to figure out something to do instead of getting up and getting up and getting up and getting up because I'm tired of doing that. So next year, i got to do something different. But that is it. That is all my Blu-rays that I own. I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. If you stay till the end, you're a great viewer then. That's what you are. You're just a great viewer. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the collection video. Thank you again for coming back and responding and wanting me to do it again. Of course, I'm here. I did it. Now let's edit this motherfucker. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of this video. Enjoy the rest of the day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.